Guys, okay, so what you, uh, what you saw uh, last time was where uh, I was tooling it. We had transferred the artwork, started to do a little tooling. Now we're seven, eight hours ahead. Um, and I've laid in all my base colors with dye. Um, and then from there, I kind of uh, airbrushed in and accentuated, uh, smoothed out some of the stains. So that when there's a lot of overlapping, there can be some blotchiness. So I smoothed a little bit of that out with the airbrush. Uh, and then from there, I will do a resist and then an antique. And then after the antiquing, I start going back in and I start highlighting everything um, to accentuate a lot of the details. So what I generally use at that point is I will use the Angelus products. I really like these products. Uh, they stick really, really well. They're specifically made and engineered to adhere to very lightly porous things as well as heavily porous things. So they work good on canvases, they work good on um, veneers, they work good on like even this kind of stuff, uh, like a windbreaker material, They'll, they work great on that as well, but they, they work fantastic on leather. So uh, what I generally do is from there is I thin it down. This is their bottle, or this is my bottle, but it's their product, it's called Too Thin. Um, I actually have it right here. So the Too Thin product helps. It's their uh, their chemical that they use to cut the paint down. And the, what they suggest is a, a one to four mix. But for me, I do a lot more than that because I need it to be thin. The Angelus paints are very, very thick. Uh, okay, so let's get started, guys. Okay, so um, we got all the highlights in and um, I actually changed a little bit of the coloring. Um, I add a little bit more blue to the inside of the uh, eyes and I kind of haloed around the, um, the cross and suggested that there was another one over here with a little bit of highlighting. Um, added a little bit more blue along the jawline in some other areas, but I also took the black, I don't know if it was caught or not, but I used the um, the black also to accentuate even some of the lighter details uh, that you wouldn't necessarily catch unless you were really looking up close. But there is a lot of detail in this. Uh, we really, really love doing this piece of art. I know the client's gonna love it when he receives it. If you would like to find out more about what it is that we do, or you'd like to support my family and I in continuing our art, please go to redbeardleather.com. You can find a whole bunch of cool stuff that we make, me and my wife, together, uh, as well as some new t-shirt designs that we just recently came out with. Love to see you guys at some of the shows that we're gonna be coming out. Stay tuned, and we have some new stuff coming.